and uh, maybe you can also turn show you. the camera. The camera. This side. Maybe I can make it even bigger. This side. So we are we going to use the you see the kit for preliminary uh, test uh, so that uh, we try and uh, we we confirm rather not confirm but uh, so that we test whether it is indeed cooking. Get how long that test will take? Uh, it's instant. So it's called. Uh, oh, you can, you can yeah. fix. Uh, We are going to take three samples and compare with our own control that we came with for cocaine or heroin and see what we get out of it. Now we also have we also have a control sample that uh, we came with from the government chemist that uh, we. Uh, also run together with the test sample. referring to the chart says clearly that any cocaine will show blue although there are other things that can show blue but this one specifically for cocaine yeah the kind of cobalt acid that i use is colorless you can see it's clear yeah it's clear and then there is a purplish there are two regions that we use one is purplish the other one is clear so i'm supposed to put a drop of each on there sample but i'll start with my control so that i test my reagents yes. that is the first drop still remains clear the second drop it turns blue so that one indicates presence of cocaine. Yes. Or uh, so I'll do the same for the three. That's two. the control sample. That's the control sample. Yes. So we'll do the same for this. We'll use the two. The other one can check if maybe there's heroin also. Yes. That's for the confirmation. So we'll use now the second reagent. That's blue. Yes. That's an indication of cocaine is present. Yes. But I'll just, for clarification, I'll do 
one of the samples with the test for heroin, yes. which is supposed to turn pap purple, yes. between purple and bluish. So I'll use the uh, reagents for he heroin. The reagents are different. I'll use one drop of reagent A1 and three drops of reagent A2. So if there is any heroin, I'll expect it to turn uh, 